these are the walls of the building laid out with compass lines. Like there's a there's a uh, intersection of two walls, the rear wall and the west wall. And we line up the north-south lines uh, a few degrees east of uh, south. So the building will reach out and grab the morning sun just a little bit. All right, let's, let's check our, our square over at this end. Six there. Three, it's low. Yeah, it's a Pythagorean theorem. <coughs> Basically, uh, if you pull All right, we're good on six the feet down one string, eight so feet down the other. If you get us L turn, we can throw a couple diagonal tires. diagonal should be ten feet. It also works like a three, four, five, or a 12, 16, 20. It's all the Pythagorean system. And that's just to make sure you're perfectly square? Yeah. That works for a, a right triangle. <coughs> 90 degrees in that corner. All right, we're laying out the buildings. First thing we do is get a string line where we want our south face of our building. 12, we want it to be 12 degrees east of south, which is true south. Um, and then basically what we do is we'll just use a framing square or something to, to pull a line roughly straight off the two sides and then pull a parallel line from this back here. And then from this point here to this point here, we take the measurement from this point here, we take the same measurement. And as long as these measurements um, from the diagonals are exactly the same, then the building has to be square. And these corners all have to be 90 degrees. If this one was longer and this one was shorter, then the building would look something like this, which wouldn't be square with each other. And then, we can extend this line out like it did earlier, and this is where the tires go. So on and so forth around the perimeter. We're leveling for the first tire. Leveling, we have to chip the ground and get it absolutely level to start uh, laying tires on. This is our beginning corner. That yeah, we're shooting in the bottom level where the first course is gonna sit on. So it's all at the same level. So if we start correctly, we'll go through and so you're end cutting, correctly. So you're cutting that level all the way around the building? Yes. Okay. Not all at once, but in pieces. <laughs> we find certain points, make sure they're level, and each person goes from there. And then we all match. I'll start with 235s, or if we have bigger, 245s, 16s. You always want to start with your biggest sizes and work up to smaller sizes. Preferably 235s for your beginning courses. Or if you got enough 245s, 16s, we've been doing that a lot, sadly. You just work up 235s, 225s, 215s, 205s, Dunskis. 205s at the top? Yeah, generally. It's easier to have 205s. The smaller they get, the more they move around on you. 195s and stuff, but if we only have 195s, we'll use them. Basically, it depends on what, what's on site. So first couple of courses are 235s. First couple of courses, is nice to have at least the first two, maybe three even have 235s or bigger. But it's all on availability of what they can get. At least, Thank you. I'm trying to figure it out. 